it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. If you'll notice, I'm in a beautiful location right off the St. John's River. And I will tell you what, it is just a beautiful day right here in Florida. It's December the 20. What second? It's a beautiful day. So what's our subject for today? Our subject for today is why buying life insurance at work ain't enough. What do you say? I said, why buying life insurance or getting life insurance at work? It just ain't enough. See, I've been in sales a long time and I've worked for quite a few great companies in my lifetime. You know, I'm kind of what you call a senior and I've been able to work with some great companies who offered you some insurance. That way they could protect themselves. Okay. In case something were to happen to you, if you get hurt on the job or if you may uh, see, for instance, lose your job. Job, okay, or you do something wrong with the job, they're going to insure themselves to make sure that hey man, we appreciate you being on board, and they'll also give you a little bit of life insurance in case you get killed on the job. That's kind of nice, so that way you know your family can get a little bit of money and so forth. But it really is nice, and a lot of times people think that because I have some insurance at work, and if something happens to me, the big old family is going to get some money. They're excited about that, but what happens? is is people work on jobs sometimes they'll work for a company 5 10 15 20 years and then something will happen companies go out of business I've worked with some great companies in my lifetime and unfortunately <laughs> they went out of business and the next thing I know is I got no insurance so as an older person I got into insurance and found out how expensive it is to buy insurance if you're in your late 30s 40s 50s it's really expensive so if you're out there thinking thinking, hey man, I've got a great job, you know, I don't need for to talk to the insurance guy, they don't know what they're doing. Listen, a lot of that stuff that you're going to be looking at, especially at work, is going to be like a term life insurance policy, and that's for a term. It's a term that as long as you're working there, <laughs> and then when you ain't there no more, good luck. You may be able to go ahead and buy some additional insurance, that could be health insurance, but a lot of times when you leave the company, you leave the insurance that covered you in case of accidental death, or if they even had a policy on you that was able to cover you in case you were to die of natural causes. Generally, they don't do that, and you have to pay for that extra service. But as soon as you leave that company, a lot of times they'll say, well, have a nice day. I hope you enjoy your life. And then you're having to pick up the pieces. You're starting all over again. You're getting ready to go work for another company, and they're going to offer you some insurance. Let's get some insurance. Some life insurance and unless you can make it roll over into you know your future where if you were to leave the company or retire or something that way you will be able to have that insurance but the majority of time people don't think about those things they think that hey I've got some insurance if something happens to me my family is going to be just fine well listen guys it ain't enough okay if you were to leave a company you're going to run the risk of not having any insurance at all and a lot of times people People pass away at the least expected moments and a lot of times when people are frustrated mad sad and all of the above they find themselves dealing with scenarios that are outside the box and they think well you know I'll wait till I start working with this new company they're gonna go ahead and get me some insurance and you may get lucky and have some companies that will do that but the majority of companies I'm sorry to say, generally they want you to be there for at least uh, 90 days up to a year before they'll even offer any additional assistance as far as insurance is concerned. And death insurance, holy cow, man, who's going to pay for you if you were to pass away? And sometimes people don't even think nothing about it. When you're young, you think, hey, man, I'm young and everything. I don't need no insurance. But listen, we just had the pandemic come through. A lot of people weren't expecting to have to stay at home. They were afraid. Everybody is afraid they don't want to die but see this is the thing guys our topic for today is talking about why it's not enough to have insurance at your work you need to talk to a professional, a professional like myself, who can walk you through the process, give you some features and benefits, and get you set up for a long 
long-term commitment. A lot of times people, they go to work. They think they're going to work for a year, five years, 10 years, 15, 20, and stuff happens and they keep going and going and going. But see, what we do as insurance agents, we help people see the big picture. If you're a young person, you can get insurance so daggone cheap that it would blow your mind. There are all different types of insurance. They got term insurance, which is for a term. They've got full uh, whole life insurance. They got annuities. They got a lot of different things that unless you talk to a professional like me, okay, Gary Lee, <laughs> you'll be kind of like, well, I got some insurance at work. That's all you can say because you don't really know what you got. You might have a little bit of accidental insurance and a lot of that accidental insurance, you can get very cheap added to your policy. It's really not that expensive, but see, they make it seem like it's such a big deal. It covers you, but it also covers the company in case something were to happen to you and they can cover themselves by losing such a great employee like you. But when you leave that company, good luck. <laughs> you don't own nothing. And I'm trying to be serious with you guys. Having life insurance or insurance at work just ain't enough. It's not enough. If you're a young person, remember, you can get insurance very cheap. And you can get this stuff called term insurance if you're buying a home and you can cover it and get it up to 5, 10, 15, 20, and 30 years. So that way you can go ahead and cover your mortgage. Your mortgage could cost you almost $250,000, sometimes a little bit less and sometimes a little bit more. But if you're young in your 20s and 30s, you get your insurance cheap, you can go ahead and get that term insurance or even the 40s, you can get it at a reasonable price. And if something were to happen to you, you or your significant other, the family will be so happy that the mortgage is going to be paid off, or you could just keep the money. It's up to you. If your mortgage, if you've got a two hundred fifty thousand dollar mortgage and you only have ten years to pay on it, okay, and you've already got that down, and then when you die, if you were to pass away, your family will get the full amount, the two hundred fifty thousand, even if you only owe fifty thousand on the mortgage. So it's kind of a, a win win scenario, and that would be like a term life insurance policy, a whole life policy. Now, a lot of people like to buy those because they build substantial value. And that way, if you ever need to borrow from it, maybe you got kids that go to college, or maybe you need to just borrow from it to buy a new car or whatever. It's built, it's built into your capabilities to use that money for a later date. But see, if you have only the insurance that you have at work, you don't know all this stuff. And a lot of times people, they negate to get insurance until they get old. Old. And by the time they get old, it costs so damn much. It's like, holy cow, I can only afford to get $5,000 worth of insurance. And I'm going to tell you what, that's the truth, guys. If you think about it, people who are in their late 50s, early 60s, they have a budget that they're set up, especially when you retire. If you're going to retire and you ain't making but one income or two incomes, it ain't that much. And that insurance, if you had to buy it at such a late age, $30,000 would probably be the most you could afford. And that's expensive even 5000 but it's enough to at least get you buried and leave the family a little bit of something. But 5000 ain't going to be enough to get you buried. 10000 that's what it costs just for a funeral pretty much and more. You may say to yourself, heck, I don't care. I'm just going to go ahead and keep this insurance that I got at work, and I don't need no insurance. Well, shame on you. You're going to find out that your family is going to suffer one day, and it's going to be because you didn't think outside the box. And you may be a young person saying, I ain't got no significant other. Listen, do you want to leave a, if something were to happen to you, and it will eventually, do you want to leave that burden on your family? Again, we want to leave our family in a better place. We want to leave our families in a, in a situation situation that when something happens, all they got to do is collect the money, talk to the people, set up the, the whole setup for the funeral, or even if you want to be cremated, it can be done and it's not such a burden. How many family members in your family, I'm talking to you, have over $3,500 up to ten dollars or $15,000 to pay for your funeral? Think about it. Not many. 
And my whole goal today was to think and to get you to think. Think about why why should I why should I get insurance? If you've got insurance at work and you get it on yourself, that's great. That's wonderful. But what if you leave the job or get fired or get laid off? Didn't you just see the pandemic? Look at all the people who lost their businesses. Look at all the people whose companies went out of business. And guess what? When they go to try to find another great job, they're gonna have to start all over again and be able to get the minimum and you're older now. Now, it's not going to get cheaper as you get older. It's going to get more expensive. I'm not trying to scare you guys, but what I'm trying to do is give you some ammunition, especially if you're a salesperson. You need to talk to your people and let them know, hey, listen, stuff happens. I don't care if you got insurance at your work. It's wonderful. That's just a little bit of extra that your family can use just in case there's a problem. But I can offer you insurance today that's going to guarantee that when you pass away, your family's not going to have to be burdened. It's not going to be such a sting by the time you get to be in your 50s, 60s, and 70s where you want to pick up that insurance. But if you buy it today, you can get it at a discounted price and you don't have, you can lock in the prices. A lot of times people go, oh, lock in the prices. Well, yeah, that means, hey, it's not going to go up on you. Now, if you get a term life insurance policy or a whole life, they do have the capability now where you can pay those things off in a timely manner and get it paid off in less than 15 to 20 years. And all it is is just a, you know, it's something special that's there because believe it or not, people are dying to see the insurance guy because there are always people who are passing away. And our whole sub subject for today was we were talking about why having insurance at work ain't enough. It just ain't enough. And my name is Gary Lee Stanley. Give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and do me a favor, subscribe. And you could check out my other websites. I've got one that's uh, us, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I've got Gary Lee Stanley, your real estate sales guy and i also got some comedy channels under gary stanley huh, comedy radio and i always have a lot of fun but when i talk about insurance people are dying every day that pandemic brought it to people's attention it's like nothing ever that's been out there and people are like oh crap maybe i need to get some insurance oh yeah you need to get some insurance and i don't care if you're in your 20s if you're in your 30s 40s 50s it doesn't get cheaper so go ahead talk to a professional Professional. I know nobody likes to talk about death. It can be kind of scary and it can be overwhelming, but that's okay. Put on your big boy pants and your big girl pants and then listen and talk with a sales representative. That's what we are, really. We talk about insurance. We talk about life insurance and we can help you put money away for a rainy day and annuities. And there's a lot of other different things that we can talk to you about. But the key to success is remember, <laughs> buying insurance ain't, at work, it ain't enough because you don't never know when that company can say see ya hope you have a nice day and i would love to be the guy to walk you through that process my telephone number is 904-662-8933 and uh, hey guys I also sell real estate with exit real estate gallery i'd love to talk to you check out my free website at yourrealestatesalesguide.com we just had a very simple conversation about why having insurance <laughs> at work ain't enough okay i hope you got a little bit of insight so get out there and sell some insurance and remind these people, it ain't enough if you got insurance at work. All right.